Alright guys, welcome to the 8th video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to style this white border around certain images, and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to float this image left, so you can put text on the right hand side, and this is actually without the use of multiple columns, like this. So if you want to put a picture and text in the same column, but make them appear side by side, we're going to be learning how to do that. And last but not least, I want to show you guys how to make this black box as a background. Now, typically the text in these drop-up menus is white, and as you can see, the entire drop-up menu, the background right here, is semi-transparent, and that looks really good for this hardwood background whenever, you know, you pop it up. But certain times, you have a lighter, or perhaps maybe you have a private messenger or a chat room that you want to use this feature on, and the background is white. Actually, the chat room that I'm building for my website it pops up over the white background so whenever you have this white text even though this background is semi dark and transparent this white text is really difficult to read whenever you don't have you know a darker background so that's why this black background is really useful and um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that so let's go ahead and get started the first thing is of course the white border so my class is of just called white border and this is very simple stuff right here one pixel solid white bam boom roasted so the next thing I want to do is I want to show you guys how to float the image to the left now you guys can probably guess um you know the beginning stages of this footer whenever an image has the class image left first the part that you guys could probably guess float left now in addition to that what I like to do is I actually like to add a margin to the right hand side only and as you can see if I don't do this then this text Bucky Roberts and read more which is actually a link to my profile it would be butted up right against the image so let's go ahead and add margin right of let's say 10 pixels and the last thing I, I want to do is I actually like to style the width of this image right here so the width equals 40 pixels and of course you guys may change this if you use you know pictures in your footer but for mine I thought 40 pixels look pretty good if you have it too small then you can't even you know tell that it's a profile picture it looks like a little hit of acid or something so anyways you know not that I ever seen anything like that now the last thing I want to show you guys how to do is to style this black box and by the way here's a cool thing whenever I was making uh, the group chat or actually my developers were I designed it and they are coding it all I have certain sections like the buddy list or the main text area that is okay to display in just white text and other sections need the black background so it's actually cool to have it mix and match and it actually looks pretty cool when you have your entire pop-up or drop-up menu in one color and then certain sections with a darker background makes it stand out a little bit more so footer black box now the first thing I want to do is set the background now here's another thing to point out whenever we're working with backgrounds let's say I set the background to 0 0 0 0 0 0.4 alright so what I did is I pretty much made this 40 percent opacity right so that means that whenever we're looking at this that this black background is gonna be 40 percent opacity right well actually that's wrong because the black background which is 40 percent opacity right here is actually stacked on top of this right here which is already already I don't know like 20 percent opacity whatever we made it so just remember that in your calculations that this is not going to be 40 percent opacity it's going to be closer to like 50 or 60 percent opacity so a lot of people you know they always try to code everything and it always turns out darker than they anticipated and that's because they forgot to add the background opacity as well so the next thing I want to do is just add a padding of 5 pixels just because the text looks a little bit better and also a margin bottom of 5 pixels and last but not least a border radius of 5 pixels 
Now with the border radius, if you guys don't know what that is, it pretty much means I don't even know if you guys can see it on the YouTube video, but the curviness, so it's not just a square box, it's like a rounded rectangle. Now, if you're doing this in Google Chrome, which you should be, this is going to be fine. But, <coughs> oh, excuse me. If you're doing this in Opera or Firefox, you may want to do do a, like, Moz or WebKit border radius. And, uh, well, look up border radius online and you'll see the other types. But this is uh, compatible with Google Chrome. And that's what I use. So, you know, if you guys want to tweak it later, go ahead. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.